Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on November 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space up weather update as well. We'll look at earthquakes and volcanoes and world weather forecast. Starting out here, looking at our sun. 304 angstroms. We do have a couple sunspots facing and as well a C-class solar flare producing a CME in a north-facing position. No models yet heading our way. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming. Cresting activity on the right-hand side. Plasma filament lifting and stretching across the southern hemisphere on the left-hand side. And looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, we did have that CME yesterday that was reported and a couple pretty bright regions turning away and as well the coronal hole coronal hole visible there in the center and as well as cme observed here in the last few images at multi-spectrum there's the coronal hole turning away and pretty sizable filament stretching from the surface of the southern hemisphere on our sun closer look there at the cme and plasma filament another light here just some beautiful imagery brought to you by solar dynamics observatory and daily events worldwide this is our sun today and it has been pretty quiet for the last couple of days no major solar flares or CMEs projected our way. Only thing we're really dealing with is our coronal holes. We had that big old jack-o'-lantern, happy, smiley, facey coronal holes right around Halloween. Solar X-ray flux is still in B range. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity, KP5 today. We can expect some space weather now. In the way of northern lights, definitely going to see some auroras tonight. Having a look at our real-time solar wind, sitting at about 580 kilometers per second after spiking up to 624 kilometers per second. So this is our new coronal hole wind stream. Looking at the aurora forecast for northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Big northern lights tonight across Russia and Norway, Finland, and as well, Tasmania in the Southern Hemisphere. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing no new CMEs. That is Earth. Just so you know, the little yellow circle there, we've got some activity moving in in about two days. Schumann Resonance for today, a power of five. Very low power. Not much to look at here with the telemetry. Just a healthy low power of five amplitude of five quality 6.7 now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours sitting just under 200 according to usgs but we just had some interesting atlantic earthquakes that just rocked 5.4 earthquake wreck jane's ridge 10 kilometer depth and as well the mid south atlantic 5.0 10 kilometer depth as well a 4.7 reported scotia plate south sandwich islands earlier today south america eerily quiet 4.7 there copiapa chile 4.5 there peru northern peru caribbean plate all of a sudden has gone quiet today only reporting one 3.9 virgin islands 4.7 Guatemala, right under Hurricane Lisa. 4.7 there, Mexico border as well. Rivera Plate. Interesting activity, Men Meniridero, the BC border. And as well, 3.5 Bend in Oregon. 2.5 there, Wyoming. No major earthquake swarms to talk about. Nothing notable there through the United States. Quiet through Alaska, 
3.9 being the largest through the region. Activity coming back to Japan today, 4.9 Chiba, Japan, 64 kilometer depth, as well as 4.8 Honshu, Japan, 4.3 Hokkaido, Japan, and as well Hirara with a 4.4. A lot of activity here through the Philippines, 4.6 Hinatan, Philippines, and as well southward here to the Banda Sea with a sizable 5.3. 4.9 Kokopo, Papua New, Guinea, Papua New Guinea, and as well Vanuatu, 4.5, and that's the deepest earthquake today. 4.1 earthquake here, Iran, and a notable earth earthquake here, 5.1 Romania, 148 kilometer depth that rang out overnight. Romania seeing a 5.1. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quiet, as I said. Just under 200 earthquakes reported by the USGS, which we're going to quickly look at here before. As you can see, two most recent earthquakes there in the Mid-Atlantic and as well North Atlantic. Just wanted to quickly give you a browse here at earthquakes around California and the West Coast. Interesting activity south of Los Angeles. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today, Sabancaya in Peru, Era in Japan, Sangay in Ecuador, Fuego in Guatemala, Swiss in Ejima in Japan, as well Raventador in Ecuador, So that's about eight volcanoes getting updated today. Still sitting at 54 across the planet. Tropical Cyclone Martin heading north, straight north and then eastward towards the UK. Tropical Depression Lisa still churning under Guatemala or over Guatemala. Looking across the Pacific Ocean. Atmospheric River of Moisture stretching across the Pacific and is now heading into BC, Washington State. Tropical Depression, Nalgae still hanging around. And as well, we've got a tropical cyclone here. South of Indonesia, Tropical Cyclone 4. It's going to be heading straight west. Could hit Madagascar in the long range if it retains its strength. Other than that, let's get to world weather forecast here, brought to you by Ventu Sky. Having a look at North America, as we've got moisture heading into the West Coast, and lots of it, and as well, a line of moisture stretching from the Gulf here for the next couple days. Going to bring some pretty warm weather. 21 degrees expected on Saturday here in Ontario, while most of the West will be under snowfall warnings. As you can see, the snowfall will be coming in this week. Alberta Clipper building through Canada and as well a big low grinding along the west coast bringing moisture all the way down to as far south as Arizona but big system here November 9th into the 10th and then into the 11th everything is going to change a lot of snow will be flying and the temperatures will be dropping very big low in the east setting itself up over the Hudson Bay. Let's have a look at temperature transition here over the next few days. Right up until the 16th of November, deep freeze is definitely moving in for the whole country. So slowly, these cold temperatures are going to be moving west to east. And as well, Alberta Clipper bringing a lot of snow Overlooking South America, no major weather systems affecting you this week. Daily evaporation rains in the north, really dry in the south. No tropical depressions here developing along the Atlantic. Then we get to Africa, where you'll see a lot of rain this week. Stormy conditions through Central and South Africa. Watch for really heavy rains to develop. November 10th into the 11th. 
strong systems there developing over South Africa, overlooking Europe. We've got those big systems penetrating the UK this week, Ireland, and as well the north coast of Spain. Mediterranean system racing through. Other than that, nothing major. And then overlooking Southeast Asia, Malaysia, one tropical depression south of Sumatra. Other than that, no major tropical systems here developing or forecast in the long range. Lots of rain heading into southern India. Overlooking Australia. Interesting low there, creeping along the southern parts of the continent. But other than that, you're going to be pretty dry here up until about November 11th into the 12th, where we're going to see some rain move in for southeastern parts, Victoria and Sydney. Heavy rains moving in. Other than that, you're going to be dry for the next few days. Tropical depression developing in the East Pacific in the long range forecast. Give you a quick glance at what our systems are doing in the Pacific right now. And as well, where we will be in the long range forecast. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smack that like button. Maybe share with your friends and family from around the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye bye now. And thank you so much for all of your support to the channel's research and productions. Bye-bye now. Much love. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.